सो नेक्स्ट विल टॉक अबाउट द ट्रॉपिकल पल्मोनरी योसनोफीलिया ट्रॉपिकल पल्मोनरी योसनोफीलिया विच इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज टी पी ई एंड ऑकल्ट फाइलेरियस इज दैट इज अदर नेम फॉर द ट्रॉपिकल पल्मोनरी योसनोफीलिया देन विन गार्डन सिंड्रोम इज ऑल्सो अदर नेम फॉर द ट्रॉपिकल पल्मोनरी योसनोफीलिया दैट इज ऑल्सो अ डिफरेंट नेम फॉर द ट्रॉपिकल पल्मोनरी योसनोफीलिया सो ट्रॉपिकल पल्मोनरी योसनोफीलिया or otherwise known as the occult filariasis that is a clinical condition in which the microfilaria are not demonstrable in the blood but the clinical features are present so this is a very unique condition uh, that is seen uh, in in this condition what happens is that the microfilaria are not demonstrable in blood that means you will not find the microfilaria in the blood but the clinical features of filariasis will be present in that person so that is called as the tropical pulmonary eosinophilia so what is the pathogenesis if the pathogen or if the uh, microfilaria is not present in the blood then how does the symptoms will occur and how how is there the those symptoms are present in absence of the microfilaria so the pathogenesis is that uh, it is due to the hypersensitivity reaction to the microfilaria antigen okay It is due to the hypersensitivity reaction to the microfilaria antigen. So microfilaria antigen, which is present there, that causes this pathogenesis. Okay, that causes this hypersensitivity as a result of which this tropical pulmonary eosinophilia occurs. Now the microfilaria are rapidly destroyed in the lungs. Hence, these are not detected in the peripheral blood. So there is a uh, there is the reason also. uh for which uh, we cannot see the uh microfilaria in the blood so see here the uh, reaction or the symptoms are due to the hypersensitivity reaction to the microfilaria antigen but the microfilaria are rapidly destroyed in the lungs hence we cannot see in the blood so both of the parts are uh, uh explained here that microfilaria are not detected because of their destruction in the lungs while the symptoms are due to the hypersensitivity reaction to the microfilarial antigens so what are the features of this tropical pulmonary eosinophilia the features of the tropical pulmonary eosinophilia are the low grade fever will be there then there will be weight loss and also there will be nocturnal paroxysmal cough and along with that there will be lymphadenopathy splenomegaly and the hepatomegaly will be there these are all the clinical features that we see in case of the tropical pulmonary eosinophilia low grade fever weight loss nocturnal nocturnal proximal cough lymphadenopathy splenomegaly and the hepatomegaly then we have the diagnosis part how will we diagnose this tropical pulmonary eosinophilia so for the diagnosis of tropical pulmonary eosinophilia uh, we can do the chest x ray because most of the pathogenesis is occurring in the chest of the person itself as there is cough or cough uh, present which is very prominent in the tpe so chest x ray uh, that shows the infiltration of the and some part of the growth of the or the life cycle of the um, parasite occurs in the lung as well so that's why there occurs this cough like symptoms and hence the chest x ray will show the infiltration by that we can diagnose the uh, infection so uh, other than that the blood in blood there will be eosinophilia count uh, the eosinophil count will be raised <coughs> and then elevated serum ige level they, that is also helpful in the diagnosis of the uh, diagnosis of the tpe then talking about the treatment so what is the treatment of the tpe rough so tpe ka treatment jo hai that is similar to the filarial treatment that is diethyl carbamazine is the drug of choice in case of the tpe so this is all about the tpe if any time it is asked in the university exams you have to write this much about the tropical pulmonary eosinophilia